hello students welcome back to hit the subscribe button if you are here for the first time now we are going to solve this problem which says that determine the resultant interning, internal normal and shear force in the members with section AA and section BB each of which passes through point A the 500 pound load is applied along the centroidal axis of the member so we are given this member and we are asked to find the internal uh, normal and shear force in the member across this section along AA and along BB. For the free body diagram we are going to consider this face only the front face. So I will have the free body diagram like this and first of all I am going to consider the AA section. So this will be my free body diagram. This will be 500 pound force here. and this is our AA section let's see that this is the the, in the internal resultant sh shear force so let's say this is VA and this is the the normal force NA so if we apply the sum of the forces in the X that must be equal to zero so applying the equilibrium conditions we can say that the sum of the forces in the X it must be equal to zero towards the right is our positive x direction so we have an a in the positive x 500 pound force is in the negative x so we have minus 500 this is equal to zero and we can say that an a is equal to 500 pounds similarly uh, if we apply the sum of the forces in the y so that must be equal to zero as well and upward direction is considered to be positive this is equal to so we can say that v a our VA is acting in the positive Y in the upward direction and there is no force in the there is no other force in the vertical direction so this means that VA is equal to 0 so for section AA um, the internal normal resultant force is equal to 500 pounds and it is acting away since we got the positive sign towards the right and the resultant uh, shear force on the section AA is equals to zero. Now, so this is the solution for part A. And now, if we if, if for section BB we have to draw another free body diagram. So for that, um, this will be my free body diagram now. So now you guys can see that here we have some angle which is given that ang that angle is 30 degrees right so this angle is this angle is 30 degrees so now again we have that normal uh, 500 pound force now we will have the shear force parallel to the surface uh, parallel to the cross section so let's say this is now VB so this is our section BB now so this is VB and let's see this is and we will have the normal force in this direction so this is NB and this is the 500 pound force now we can uh, find the solution for this particular case using two methods either we can resolve these two forces into their x and y components and then apply the equilibrium conditions or either we can resolve this um, uh, along along this and this direction and then we can apply the equilibrium conditions so what I will do is that I will resolve this 500 pound force along this direction normal to this face and parallel to this face so now if I draw a line let's say if we have a line this line perpendicular to that BB section which is this line so if this blue line is perpendicular to that let me make it perpendicular so if if somehow this is 90 degree and as you guys can see that this 500 pound force is perpendicular with this line as well with the vertical 
So if the angle between this line and the vertical is 30 degrees, and if this line is perpendicular with this face, with this line, and if this is perpendicular with this line, then this angle and this angle, they, they will remain the same. So both of these angles are equal. So we can say that this 500 pound force is making 30 degree angle here as well. So now we can resolve this 500 pound force into two components. So we will have one component along this line and we will have one component in this direction. So we can say that we will have one component like this. This will be parallel to the BB section and this will be one component as well. So now this one will be this one will be the cost component since the angle is made with this particular component. So we can say this will be 500 cos of 30 degrees and this one will be the sine component. So the, the length of this should be small because uh, 500 cos of 30 plus this component must give us the 500 pound force. So this one is sine component. So this is 500 sine of 30 degrees. And remember that this and B must be parallel to this line, right? So is that uh, I have drawn that and B before drawing this line. So I need to make this line and B parallel to this line. This is now N B because now we will apply the sum of the forces in this direction and we will apply the sum of the forces in this direction. So in this direction. So now for section BB, now we can say that the sum of the forces, let's say that this direction is B normal, let's say this is BN and this is B parallel or we can say this is the normal direction and this is the parallel direction. So this is N and this is P. So I will write that sum of the forces in the normal direction. So that must be equals to zero and the normal direction is like this. So in the downward direction is the positive direction. So we can say that NB plus NB minus the cost component, right? This 500 cos of 30, this is in the negative n direction. So you write minus 500 cos of 30, this is equal to zero and B is equal to 500 cos of 30. So this is 433. So N B is equal to 433 pounds. And similarly, if we apply the sum of the forces in the parallel direction, that in, in, this, in the direction of P and in this direction, this is our positive P direction, like this. So we have VB, this is equal to 0, VB minus the sine component, so 500 sine of 30 degree, this must be equal to 0, and VB is equal to 500 sine of 30, which will be equal to 250 pounds. So this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope this will help you in your learning. Do subscribe Engineers Academy for the solution of such more problems from Mechanics of Materials by R.C. Himmler.